Many thanks to our subscribers. This time on Sailing Intermission, we did some sanding. And of course, some dancing. We worked on the shower sump pump in the day head. And more dancing. And guess what? Even more dancing. And Steve put in a boom preventer. And we had a few issues at our house. Including some plumbing issues. We brought our jungle inside so it would survive the cold. And of course, we did some dancing. Well, Karen thought that she wanted to kind of smooth out the top of the post on our little dock steps. Steve did an excellent job in constructing this and it's it really helps um, but it's a little rough on the edges so I just thought I'd bevel it off a bit. Okay so that's a good way to start with the Dutch cash falling off but it's a windy day so I'm guessing it'll blow it away so here we go. There we go. No splinters, no hard edges. Dayhead sump pump for the shower. The pump works, but it appears like it needs to be primed. The Dayhead sump pump is located under the galley sink. And how much stuff can you put under a sink? There's a little bit of a weird configuration, I think, on these valves under the sole. I think it's from the factory. I've disconnected the hose from the icebox drain, but right up above it is the hose for the sump pump. So I'm going to prime it. I'm going to put a uh, hose on here, like so. And then I'm going to take the other angle, I mean the other end, and use a funnel and dump water down it. So with a little duct tape, put the red funnel on that hose, it's hooked up to the inlet of the shower sump. It's actually, it's an older pump, but it's a nice diaphragm pump. And now I'm going to turn it on and Karen's going to dump water down the funnel. Okay. That water's going somewhere. Yeah. Well, I'd say that pump just needed priming. Works like a hose. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Expensive descender. It's made out of stainless steel, has over 11,000 pound braking strength, and it's used more in mountain climbing. 
but it was 38 bucks from Amazon and it works great as a uh, spoon preventer. looking at is the swimming pool. We are in the Arctic blast zone and the pool is completely frozen over because we lost power, blew out the pump, water hadn't been circulating and not sure exactly what damage has been done. Dive off that board if you're in the Polar Bear Club. Don't need a freezer. Right. 